What's up, everybody? Mark Lovander, TigerFitness.com. About to watch a video here. This is Kent Brearley. <laughs> I can't pronounce his fucking name. <laughs> this is my boy Kent, IFPA pro, owner of Pure Focus Gym in, uh, in Brick, New Jersey. A phenomenal gym. Great place to train. Phenomenal atmosphere. It's clean, yet it is hardcore. Um, some of the best workouts I've ever had. I um, want to show this now. Kent, he's going to peek at the Yorton, but he's got seven shows lined up. He's one week out here. You're going to see how lean he is. Um, phenomenal individual, a legend in this sport. You know, I look at uh, training with Dorian was one of those once-in-a-lifetime experiences, whereas training with Kent and what he's brought to the industry and um, the fact he's been around and he's pioneered a lot of things, won a lot of shows, including NPC shows. Um, among naturals, this is kind of like training with the Dorian Yates of naturals, in my opinion. So it's quite an honor to be there, be at a show. Um, fantastic time. If you're ever in the Brick, New Jersey area, you can see the cool shit we had in this gym, the atmosphere, the training. Come by, do your thing. You'll really enjoy it. It's worth the traveling. If you're within three hours, you know, go there. Say hi to Kent. And he's a encyclopedia of knowledge. He's a guy who's known it. He's seen everything twice. And um, quite an honor to sit there, hang out with him, train, and uh, get to know him. We, we knew each other via, you know, email, Facebook, all that, but to actually get to sit down and speak to the man, um, quite an honor, quite an inspiration. So what a great time. Guys, enjoy the video. Thanks for everything. Kent, you know, what a phenomenal guy. Also, um, there were some other characters in this video. We had a guy in there who actually competed the day before. His name is Tai Vu, T-A-I-V-U, and the big dude's name is Stan Govern. And I told, with Kent being so lean and Stan being so big, I was neither the leanest nor the biggest guy there. That kind of crushed my emotions that day. But anyway, enjoy it. This is what we did after the show. Oh, what's up, everybody? Here we go, another adventure. Now, keep in mind, this is the day after the bodybuilding show. Uh, the USBF Pro-Am and Kent is Kent Beerly. Beerly, like beer and L-Y. He is seven days out, like I said, from his first show. Um, when we're filming this, actually, well, six days out. So he's also, I believe he's doing seven shows. And he guest posed the night before and did a phenomenal, fantastic, entertaining job. Think about guest posing. Man, you ever get there and you're like, well, this guy just get the fuck off the stage, man. I just want to see who wins the damn overall and get out of here. Um, anyway, this is my boy here, Ty. Now, when we first started lifting today, he put on two plates and was bringing that shit down like halfway. We corrected that. Now he's getting a nice full range of motion coming all the way down to his chest. And remember, this guy competed yesterday. It was the best he's looked ever from uh, what everybody tells me. He has some work to do as far as bringing up his conditioning and just what everybody wants to do, bring up his entire body. And, and he'll be formidable. I mean, the guy's got drive. He's in there the Sunday morning after. Here's a nice little warm-up for me, 315. Um, you know, doing my thing. I'm good and fat. You know, got my fatness going on. I'm um, getting spotted by Big Stan. Now, Stan... I mean, in person, this is a guy you just don't want to fight. He has a clothing company called East Coast Muscle. I mean, you guys might want to check that out. He has some really cool stuff. Here's Kent. I mean, he's not risking injury right now. The guy is dry as hell. I mean, he's, uh, there's been many times I've seen him eat boring food while we're eating fun food, and I know how bad that is, and I know how it feels. Um, he's putting himself through this. But um, the willpower, a lot of people don't realize the willpower and dedication it takes. To be a bodybuilder for so long at Kent's level. I mean, this is a gentleman, I'm not going to say his name, but he's no spring chicken. But he's been doing this a while. You look at the muscle maturity and the graininess. That's why you guys first starting out in natural bodybuilding, emailing me when you're going to look like Doug Miller and Kurt Widener and, you know, all these guys. And, and it's like, dude, I don't know, probably not for a long time. You notice that even in the NPC, older people are winning now. I mean, Ronnie was winning into his 40s. You know, it just takes time to develop that muscle maturity, that graininess, and build more and more muscle. It's it's a thing. Your muscle is breaking down, yeah, but you're building and building and building. Four plates, here it comes. Hand slap! Okay, you got it going on. Here we go. I believe this is one of my better lifts ever. I was feeling good. I had a lot of good food in me. Here I come, down nice and slow, and boom! Uh, 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 that's one. And then I kept going. I had a little bit of assistance from Kent. I mean, sorry, from Stan. And uh, see, I can't get Kent's uh, shredded glutes off my mind. Here he goes again. 
Again, coming nice, good form, nice and slow. Again, when you get to that critical point before a show, it's not that you can't lift heavy. It's that you've put in all these weeks of dieting and preparation. Is it really worth risking that um, to get up a really good lift? And I'm at fault for that. I mean, last year you guys saw me benching 405. What was it, like two days out from a show? So, I mean, that's just me because I'm an idiot. But, again, Kent's been in this game long enough where he knows um, what he's doing. Speaking of Kent, this is a guy who gets on stage. And, literally, he put you look at him in clothes and you're like, okay, yeah, he's in shape. He looks about 80 pounds heavier. When he gets on stage, these are the biggest dumbbells they had, 140s. And I was feeling really good today. My chest after this exercise was gone. I literally ran out of gas after doing the uh, the incline press. But speaking of the show the day before, it ran phenomenally. Ran very smoothly. And it got, you guys have seen my um, feedback as far as there was a little bit of controversy in the pros. Um, a, a gentleman who placed fourth thought he deserved better, uh, but he didn't. And there's a guy who's very decorated. But, you know, it's how you look the day of the show. Here, Here's my man here, dude. He just competed the day before. I don't care how he did, man. That guy is motivated and driven. And, damn it, he still has Protan on. I'm going to just keep Protan on all the time so I don't look so damn pasty and white. But the one thing Kent did have is whiter skin than even myself, which is commendable. I mean, it's commendable to be able to stay that pasty when you can see in the background all that sunlight coming in. I mean, he's obviously purposely avoiding the sunlight, kind of like a vampire or something. But speaking of the gym, Pure Focus Gym up in um, up in New Jersey, Brick, New Jersey. Again, this is one of those great gyms, phenomenal atmospheres, helpful, friendly people. And if you're ever in the area, stop by. I mean, how often do you get a chance to talk to someone like Kent and just get you know feedback on what you should do? Hell, I mean, I bet you if you asked him, he'd even give you some posing pointers. That's another thing about posing. Man, posing sucks. I mean, you guys who are competing, you spend all that time dieting and training, make sure you know how to pose. I mean, these guys just are not posing correctly. They're not holding it, and that's very um, – it's a shame to see because it can affect placing. It's all about illusion. I mean, look at what, what Kent does is phenomenal. It's not like he's not in good shape. But when he poses, it's like Arnold. He – transforms in front of your eyes and that's what you're looking at doing for example on a side chest a lot of people were doing this weird like one foot behind the other put that rear knee in back of your front hamstring and push against it to give the illusion of a bigger hamstring to make your hamstring look bigger and push that muscle out that is the main thing I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing people doing proper posing. They're doing some funny shit. I mean, look, that leg behind thing, Kevin Lavroni did it. But, dude, you're not Kevin Lavroni, man. Nobody in the USBF is Kevin Lavroni. Okay, you notice we did incline, and then we did flat dumbbell. We did about, eh, I worked up about six sets of incline, about four sets of dumbbell, and then we did three sets of flies. Now we're killing off with cable crossovers. Um... This is a great workout. I mean, this is something we held. It was open to the public. Anybody could have shown up. It was Sunday at noon. Um, afterwards, everyone went and got some IHOP. It was great. Uh, a couple people showed up a little early because they had stuff to do to say hi, get feedback on how they looked the day of the show. And um, we're about to finish it up. We did some extra stuff after this, but didn't film it. Just wanted to get the chest on session, showcase this awesome gym. And again, if you're ever in the area, go visit it. Here we go. We're approaching the end, guys. Thank you for everything. And for those who competed or attended the USBF Pro-Am up in Brick, New Jersey, the Jersey Shore, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Here's Ty. Hey, Ty, dude. Good luck next year, man. Keep bringing it. Keep training hard. And you never know what will come of it, man. But, you know, set goals and reach them. Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. The pretty ad is coming up. Peace out.